hello everyone thank you for watching today's video so a lot of you have been asking me to do a review on the sunny health and fitness spin bike i did an unboxing for that a little while ago and it seems like a lot of people are now getting into spinning or want to buy spin bikes for their home especially like with the pandemic going on a lot of gyms are closed and people want to have equipment in their home to stay active and do some cardio so um i've had the bike for about two months and a half now and i use it almost every day this is a great bike to buy if you're on a budget I bought the bike at about a hundred and sixty something dollars with taxes it came out to like a hundred eighty something and I bought it off Walmart it's a little more expensive now and um, I know that on Amazon it's like double the price it's about three hundred something dollars so um, the bike that I have is a chain driven bike which is probably like the lowest of the spin bikes you can go within in sunny health and fitness so during my unboxing I explained that this is no peloton however you can really make it into one and I'll tell you guys how to do that a little bit later like I mentioned this is a chain driven bike so it is loud a little loud early in the morning it's not it's not enough to wake my husband up but it is still a little loud They have some belt driven bikes which are pretty much silent. However, those were more expensive and they were out of stock, which you can guess a lot of people would rather the belt driven one, which is silent, than the chain driven one. Also the chain driven one, if I'm not mistaken, is more height maintenance. I haven't had it long enough to know what the maintenance is, but it does require some maintenance. On top of it being chain driven, it also has a felt pad on it which gives it the resistance. There are some magnetic ones which will give the resistance with magnets stopping the flywheel. This one is a felt pad. Over time, it does wear out because it pushes down on the flywheel as you're pedaling and putting on that resistance. I have to find out how you can replace it. I don't know much about that, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to change it or it's going to wear out. Also, the handlebars are a little annoying when I'm spinning, so I usually put my iPad on there and it's pretty big, it's not a mini iPad, so it's not wide enough for me um, but that's like not even a big deal. I can go probably, I can go on about everything that it lacks. But like I mentioned, this is a budget spin bike. So it's going to have a lot of things uh, missing or it's going to have a lot of limitations. For this price, this is perfect. Like if you just need something to get moving this is like the perfect bike it still works it allows me to do all of my spin all of my spin classes and like i said it's super cheap like right now on walmart is about like 180 something dollars and i can put the link down below for you guys but um like i said this is pretty good so on to how you can make this bike better or even into a peloton bike now a lot of people don't need that but if you're like me where you're just getting started you need a little bit more you like to have you know um, added features then stay tuned so the first thing you obviously doesn't matter what type of bike that you get even if you decide that you don't want this this sunny health and fitness spin bike you do need a stationary spin bike they have some stationary bikes but the spin bike will allow you to get out of the saddle a lot quicker so you want to get a spin bike also the spin bikes 
allow you to change the resistance a lot easier which you're going to be doing if you're taking a spin class you're going to probably go from you know high to low and you want it to be accessible something else you're going to need is a phone or a tablet for the peloton app now the peloton app is $12.99 monthly something else you're going to need is a holder so for this bike for the sunny bike it doesn't have an actual holder however my ipad has um this flap this type of case that i have on my ipad it does this so i can just put it on my bike and it will just stay like that so i didn't need to have to get a holder but um you know if you don't have like one of these stands or you want to use your iPhone, you can get really cheap stands on Amazon. Also, you're gonna need a cadence sensor to see how fast you're going. This bike has a sensor on the actual bike, but it's not really accurate, and it's a little confusing, so I don't have that, I don't use that. Um, actually, JackFit just recently sent me one of their sensors to try out, and I have it on my bike right now, and it's great because they have their own app where you can take scenic routes and compete with other people, and if your bike doesn't have a cadence sensor, you can actually attach this sensor to the Peloton app and see your cadence that way. So, so this is a Jack Fit cadence sensor and it came in this little box here and it has everything that you need for all types of bikes. So not only is this for a spin bike, but you know, any stationary bike that you have, even a physical bike that you take outside. Um, it has these little uh, tie strings if you need to put it on the bike. So I have this spin bike here and it came with this little holder and I put the sensor right here in the holder and it has these little magnets. So what it does is that as you spin the bike, the magnets send, I don't know, like the transmission to this little thing. That's what will tell you what your cadence is. Also, you're going to need a heart monitor. So you can get really cheap ones on Amazon, but if you have an Apple iWatch, you can connect the Apple iWatch to the Peloton app and see your heart rate there. Some other things that you don't really need, but if you really want to maximize, like if you really want to pimp out your spin bike, you can get a water bottle holder to attach to the bike or a holder for some weights. Those are things that, you know, like I originally got this bike you know to stay within my budget so i don't want to spend more money on other things that i really don't need so um and once you have those things everything that the peloton bike was doing you can now do as well you just have to buy a little bit more and add it on to the bike but in reality it does pretty much everything that the peloton bike would do the main question that I've gotten is, have I lost weight using this bike? So honestly, you can lose weight with any type of equipment that you have for cardio. It really just depends on how much you push yourself and how consistent you are. So when I got this bike, I really got it so I can stay active, especially during the winter time that I'm not going outside. I wanted something that at home that I could just use. So you can use it within your goals. So for example, if you have a lot of weight that you want to use, you're gonna be a little more aggressive using the bike and probably maybe five days a week. And you know, you maybe you're gonna do an hour long bike session or 40 minutes or whatever it is. So for me, I use it maybe three times a week and um, I usually do 30 minute classes. 
And honestly, probably any bike would be able to give you that as long as it's functional. In conclusion, I would recommend this bike to anyone that is on a budget. I repeat that, on a budget. Are there better bikes out there that have a little bit more? Yes, and are probably, you know, a little better? Yes. However, for this price, this bike is absolutely amazing. It does what I need it to do, and that's pretty much it. I can add on things to it to make it better, and I think that's what makes it even better. And if you follow what I just said about making your own Peloton bike, you don't need to spend thousands of dollars on getting one because you can really just make your own right at home on any spin bike that you have. So that is pretty much for my spin bike review. I hope you guys liked it. And if, and if you have any more questions, please leave them down below. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and I will see you next time.